Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of LT Outdoors. Today we're doing something a little different. Going along the old back roads and looking for asparagus. This time of year especially, it can be found pretty much anywhere, especially the old country roads. Um, it's, it's best, you know, you go driving down some of these dirt roads and uh, you'd be amazed at what you find. It's actually getting to where they're going to seed, which is not good. You want to get them before this, but uh, you can still pick them and eat them at this stage. They're not too far gone. Um, as long as you just snap, and if they're tender enough to snap right off without any, without any heavy snapping, um, then they're going to be good to eat. They'll be nice and tender. But yeah, you want to break these off. And even the ones, if they've gone too far to seed, break them off because they'll that'll make them grow back again and give you another chance at them. But yeah, you just snap them right off. You end up with some good ones. Um, always look down, down by the ground too, like you can see here is a really good one that is not too far gone. Coming down, break it off as low to the ground as you can. Yeah, this is a good patch here. You'd be surprised, too. If you find one, I mean, make sure you look around because there is always more. They grow out of big shoots. And it's nothing to come home with a with an armful. And I'll tell you, you cannot beat fresh asparagus. This stuff is excellent. But, yeah, this is when it, when it starts going to seed. You can see it starts branching out like this. If you let it go, if you let it keep going to seed, it'll eventually branch out and have a whole bunch of flowers. And yeah, at that point, you can't eat it. It's going to be, it's not going to taste very good, I'll tell you that. But yeah, Let's see another big one here. Like I said, you got to look real good because there's always some hiding. But uh, yeah, we're just going to drive along, keep looking, see if we can find some more. So you just drive along real nice and slow. Once you find one area where there's asparagus, you're going to want to check the whole rest of that road because chances are good that some seeds got dropped by birds at one point and you end up with a good patch. I'm going to let mom get out and get this patch here. But it appears to be another good one. These are uh, smaller, which they end up being the more tender ones anyways, but I don't know if you can see, there, there are some really, the smaller they are, the younger they are. There's some real tiny ones in there. But that's okay, they all eat up. Another thing I failed to mention, make sure uh, before you guys get out and walk in the ditches and stuff that you spray yourself down with some bug spray. Because I'll tell you, the ditches and tall grass are tick magnets and you don't want that. Lyme disease is a real thing. <laughs> How much you get out of that batch? It's a pretty good amount. Yeah, it's not bad. Here's a perfect size right here. This is one of our better patches. I think there's more down that away, maybe. We we'll usually get a few out of this, but if you remember where they come up, just remember to go back to that same area because every year they'll continue to grow. This is one of my favorite patches here. You can see there's some couple real big ones there but I like to get down in the ditch there's 
there's usually quite a few. This is one of our best batches here. Normally right now they'd be growing like crazy, but I think I think a lot of them haven't came up yet because of the weird cold spring we've been having. And here's one of my spots for the real big ones, which they can be a little tougher, but it's no big deal. You just let them cook a little longer. Get some more more meat out of those big guys. Those are some old plants too. Hard telling how old they are. I'll show you. We'll take a walk, little walk this way. I see there's some more coming up. Look at this patch. Looks like we got four. We got this big guy here. This guy. And they smell so good. That's a good one there. This big guy. Yeah, that's a good bundle there. That's like the bundles you buy at the store right there, just with a few pieces. And as you can see, you got a baby coming up there. When the young ones come up there, the heads on them are pretty much purple. So they're fairly easy to see. I'll leave that guy alone. Shouldn't take long and he'll grow out. Mom's down there picking some too. All right, everybody, I figured I'd show you what we got today. That is a heck of a nice bundle of fresh asparagus right there. That is darn good. Oh. And that was just all like I showed you. Just all out traveling the roads. I mean, it's that easy, guys. Once you get, once you get the eyes for it, and you start seeing these things i mean they'll stand up some of these stand up four feet tall you know once you see these popping out of a ditch you'll know just pull off the road snap them off and keep on going so i hope i was able to show you guys something today i'm probably going to do some more of those and i'll show you guys how we cook these when we do it